Hi there, welcome back to Resin by Drew. Today I'm going to do this tray. Um, I'm going to use two resin eight opaque pigments. One is Powder Puff, which is a grey, very light grey blue stroke blue colour. And the other one is called Storm Cloud Grey. They're both opaque pigments, I can't remember if I just said that. Um, and then in the middle, I'm going to put some of these Indigo Blue Mega Flakes in Sheffield Steel. Um, so I'm going to start off by pouring around the edge of my mould just a very thin layer of clear resin. Actually, no, sorry. Let's rewind a little bit. Let's go back. Before we do that, I've got some resin on one side. So let's make up the resin that we need um, for the um, for the colours that I've got for these opaque pigments. So I'm doing a little blobbing. Not too much, not too little, but I'm not scraping it off like we do when we do the flowers. Just putting a little blob in there. It's got a bit of a violet tint to it, like a lilac sort of tint to it, this powder puff grey. Is that, is that what it's called? No, just powder puff. It's actually a very pretty colour. Look at that. Pretty. So I'm just mixing these two to this and the other colour together. Well, not together, but mixing them in their individual parts. Give it a good mix. I think that's enough of that one. Might add a little bit more in a minute, but we'll, we'll see. I have to excuse my dogs, it, it's coming to their dinner times and they're trying to tell me that it's dinner time so they'll just be noisy throughout the video now. So I do apologise on their behalf. They can tell the time, they know what time it is every time, every day. I'm sure you've got old people that have got dogs will, tell, will say exactly the same thing. I don't know how that is possible. I don't do the same routine. There's nothing that happens at the same time. It's not like I've just made their food because I've made it a couple of hours ago. So there's nothing that happens, but they can tell their time and they know what time dinner time is and they want it when they want it. But they're going to have to wait until I've done this pour. So I will apologise in advance. Okay, so I've now mixed the colours up. I've done the same for the Storm Cloud Grey, which is, again is a nice colour. Um, and I'm going to pour a very thin layer of clear resin just around the edge of the mould. And then on top of that, I'm going to pour some of the powder puff. So I'm going to now pour the powder puff over the top of the clear. And then I'm going to do the same with the Storm Cloud Grey. Let's pour that over the top. And then I'm going to repeat that. to get all of the powder puff out and then I'm going to do exactly the same with the storm cloud again I'm 
just going to get all of the storm cloud out. And then I'm going to pour some of the clear into the middle, which will hopefully send the um, the coloured resin out to the edges. I'm going to put some of this um, Sheffield Steel um, Silver Foil Flakes. So I'm just going to spread them out in the middle. Okay, they have another noise in the background. I think one of the neighbours is having some building work done and um, they've got bricks going round. You know how they, at the end of the day they put bricks going round in the cement mixer to, I think they do it to soak up all the cement or so the cement dries without sticking to the cement mixer. So that's the only other thing I can hear at the moment. So I do apologise if there's some very strange noises on today's video. So just pop those in the middle like so. I think that's it. I think we've got enough of that. So I'll just put them in, pop the lid on because the static makes this go out absolutely everywhere. It's terrible. The slightest breeze or the slightest bit of static and it's all over the place. So it's always better to keep the lid on. I'm just going to mix this in. Well, not mix it in, but just kind of spread it out a little bit. And that's it now. I'm literally going to leave it. I know it doesn't look great at the moment, but I hope it looks better when I come back to it and the resin's done its work. I'm hoping that the resin will move out to the move into the middle, and then it'll as it draws back to the outside, it'll start leaving striations and some nice patterns for us. That's my hope, anyway. If it doesn't work, then well, it doesn't work. It's not the end of the world, is it? I'm using craft resin so that it, the tray will be able to be used for food or drinks. I might put some legs on some feet on the bottom. I'll have to see how it looks when um, when this layer's dried. I will be putting another final layer on, so I might put some feet on the final layer. We'll just have to see how it's looking. Right, I think that's spread enough so I'm going to leave it at that for now. I'm going to leave it to cure and I will be back tomorrow to show you the results. As I hopefully will have some nice patterns. So that's it, so I'll say bye for now and I'll see you soon. Hi and welcome back. Now about three quarters of an hour ago I backfilled uh, this tray I'm not wearing gloves because I'm not actually touching the resin. I can feel the heat coming from the resin. I backfilled this tray, but if I'd have put the um, the feet in straight away, they would have just swum about. So I've left it for a little while for the resin just to thicken up slightly. Hopefully it's thickened enough. And I'm just going to put the feet in now. Because of the shape of the tray, it's a bit difficult to put the feet in. So I'm just putting them where I think they should go. They're still moving a little bit so I'm going to have to keep an eye on them for a while. Let's babysit them for a little bit. And that's it, that's the feet in place. 
so I'll keep coming back and checking that they've not swum away anywhere and um, that's it I'll be back as soon as they've cured um, and I'll be able to um, show you the final results so I'll see you soon bye for now hi there welcome back for some reason I'm nervous about unmolding this tray um, I don't know why, I don't know if it's because I've got no absolutely no idea what it's going to look like on the other side uh, but the feet are all nicely stuck in solid um, and it's all cured up so let's peel peel the mould away oh that's beautiful I don't know why I was nervous about it that's turned out beautiful, it's got some lovely crackly bits to, at the, uh, around the edges there I can see the um, the silver foil in the middle but that's really nice it stands nicely on its feet as well so that's really pretty I'm happy with that really happy with that yeah I um, I don't know why I was nervous about unmolding it yeah I'm pleased with it so that's good so um, there's not really much to say about it when you unmold a tray like that there's nothing for me to I can't there's nothing for me to show um, you know each one against a black tray like that like, against black card like there is with the coasters um, but I will take some still shots and I will put the still shots at the end of the video um, and um, just let me zoom out a little bit and then you'll be able to see the full the full tray um, I will put the still shots at the end of the video for you to see um, but um, I hope you like that as much as I do I'm going to do a similar one in slightly different colours I think now that I'm happy with the way that it's turned out um, I'm going to do some um, creams and browns I think um, or some beiges and browns but yeah I'm really happy with that so I will say bye for now and I will be back with another experiment soon. See you soon.